what you see here is a default WooCommerce single product page with a three tabs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily, without any additional plugin, you can add your custom tabs. For example, in this product, I added this custom tab called measurement chart. And this tab is shown to all products on the site. Also, I had a conditional logic, for example, if the category is pants, then show also this shipping information tab, what you see here. And also I built a third custom tab. It's shown only if the category is music, and this is an inquiry form here. So if you want to know how to create custom tabs, then jump in, it's gonna take only a couple of minutes. Now let's dive in. In order to add custom tabs, you need to paste some code snippets I'm going to provide you. The link to the code snippets is in the description of this video. Now you have two options. So the first option is you paste the code I'm going to pro provide you in your child team's functions PHP file. I use the second option, which is I'm using the code snippets plugin. It allows me to create custom snippets and if I switch the team, the custom tabs will not disappear, they will be there. And it does not depend on the team. So I'm gonna go to the plugins, add new. And now search for code snippets. Install and activate it. And if you do that, then you'll see the snippets menu on the left, click on add new. Now let's start with the basics. Give it a title, for example, custom tab. Before we're gonna add some custom tabs, I'm gonna show you how to rename or remove the default tabs if needed. So paste this code here, and these are the default tabs. If I want to remove the reviews tab, I'm just gonna leave this one here activated. I'm gonna deactivate those two at the moment. So. I'm only gonna remove the review tab. Select only run on site frontend, save changes and activate. And now if I refresh it, as you see, review tab is removed. If I want to remove the additional information tab, I'm gonna unset this one also. Save changes again, refresh, and there it is, only description tab. Now I'm going to delete this one and next I'm going to show you how to rename the tabs. Let's save it and refresh it. All three are back. If you want to rename tabs, just paste this code. Once again, this renames the description, this renames the review and this renames the additional information. Save changes, refresh and all tabs are renamed. Next one, I'm going to show you how to reorder the tabs. For example, maybe I want the product data to be the first one here. Therefore, I'm gonna delete this one and paste this one here. As you see, first one is reviews, second one is description, and third one is additional information. And here is a priority. This is an important part here. Lower priority means that reviews tab is the first one. Take a look. I'm gonna save it and refresh it. Here is the reviews, but if I'm gonna give it a priority 25, then it's gonna be the third one. Priority five for the additional information. Save it and refresh it. And there it is, additional information, description, reviews. And now let's add a custom tab. Let's start with a tab which will be shown on every product on the site. I'm gonna once again delete this one here and paste this one here. So this is a new tab title here. Just rename it for example, measurement charts. This is a priority. If you want to be last one, just leave it on priority 50, but you can change it here. And here goes uh, tab content. 
for example, heading measurement charts. I'm going to add some random lorem ipsum text here. And save it. Now let's refresh it. It's here. There is a typo, as you see. But otherwise, good to go. This tab is shown for every product on the site. But sometimes you need to add the conditional tabs. Therefore, I'm going to show how to do that. I'm going to leave this one here. It's going to be shown for every product on the site. Now I'm going to add two conditions here. Give it the title conditional tabs. Paste this one here. So what do you see here? If the product is in music category, then the send enquiry form is shown. If the product is in pants category, then the shipping information tab is shown. If you want to change this one here, then go to products, categories, and copy this one here, for example, albums, clothing, and as you see, this is a pants and this is a music. So this is a slug here. So two tabs and now the content. If the product is in a music category, show the heading H2 here, this text and short code for the inquiry form. I'm using the fluent forms here. Therefore, I grabbed this short code and pasted it here. And the second part, if the product is in pants category, then show this short code here. Now save changes, open up product. It's in albums and on categories category. And as you see, there is only measurement charts. Now let's go to pants, open up a product here. And we have measurement charts and shipping information. And third one, music. Open up a product. We have measurement charts as a custom tab and send the inquiry. Now let's take a look at the pants here. What did I do to show three column shipping information? I'm using the Gutenberg editor and plugin called reusable blocks. It allows me to show the reusable blocks with a short codes here. So if you're interested, then go to plugins, add new and search for reusable blocks extended. I have also made a video about this plugin. So take a look at the info tab in this video and you'll see the card hit over there. So install and activate it and you'll see this menu on the left. I have all reusable blocks here. I created a block called, called shipping tab with three blocks here. Also, I'm using the Cadence Blocks plugin to do that. So just create whatever you want to show. Go to all reusable blocks, grab this code and paste it here. Now save it and everything works as I showed you a minute ago. So as you saw, it isn't so difficult to accomplish just some copy and pasting. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful and you want to support me, then please subscribe to my channel, press thumbs up and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.